Hi! Today we're going to draw a picture representing the half plus one third. And what this picture is going to do for us, it's going to help us understand why it is so important to have a common denominator when we add fractions. Okay, so let's start. I already drew some squares here. And what I'm going to do with the first square, I'm going to color in half of the square. So it looks like about maybe that much, maybe? That's a, it looks like about a half. And we're going to color in half of that. Let's use a pretty color. How about a nice pretty pink purple? Oh, I'm, I'm not very good at coloring. <laughs> Can't seem to stay inside the lines. Um, I think you guys get the idea. Half. <laughs> Alright, let's go and let's draw a third here. We'll cut this square into thirds. So it looks about maybe... You know, it's not perfect, but about that much looks like a third. And I'm going to color in a third. Why don't we use our pretty purple, pretty pink purple color. And we're only going to shade in a third of it. How's that look? Wow, that looks great. Okay, you guys get the picture? It's a third. So the problem here between adding a half plus a third is... Well, obviously these are not the same size piece. We can't add a half plus a third. Because a half plus a third is not two halves. A half plus a third is not two thirds. We can't add these pieces together because they're simply not the same size. So we don't know how much we have. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut these pieces up so that they are the same size. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut the half into smaller pieces. Let's Try to cut it so that I have three parts this way. So I took my imaginary knife and I cut a half so it was smaller pieces. And now if I look at it, there's six parts. And three of those six parts are shaded in. So you see I have one, two, three, four five, six, so they're sixths, and I only have three of those six shaded in. So now this half has turned into three sixths. A half is equivalent to three sixths. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing with the third. We're going to cut it up to smaller pieces. So let's cut it in half this way. So here are what we have. Now we have, once again, I've cut into six pieces here. So there's, these are six. And I have two of those pieces shaded in. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I've got here two sixths. And that's equivalent to one third. So now we we can add these pieces together. We can add them together because they are the same size. So let's see, how much do we have here now? It looks like we have 
One, two, three, four, five. Wow, this is some great coloring. I used to be an art major, so don't feel too bad if your coloring isn't quite as nice as mine because it takes some time to be able to color this nicely. It's not something, it's not a skill we're born with. You gotta work at this. It takes time and takes talent. So, practice. <laughs> now here I can tell that I have one, two, three, four, five, five out of six pieces are shaded in, which means my answer now is going to be five sixths. And that's going to be my final answer. So we were able to draw a picture representing a half plus a third. We were able to get the correct answer from our picture. This is a great visual. It provides a great foundation for understanding why when we add or subtract fractions, it's very important that we have a common denominator.